What's going on guys, Duelum here back in with another video and today we're going to be talking about something that has never happened before in Marvel Strike Force and what it means for your gold and the future of your roster. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Kicking off this video, we're going to be talking about the X-Men reworks, specifically the extreme X-Men who are going to be used for raids. We have Gambit and Cyclops that are going to get a massive rework that are going to make them pretty, pretty good in raids and even pretty good outside of raids as well. Um, Gambit, we all have built up, which is a great thing. He's already G17, level 90. As you can see, mine is already level 95, G18. I did do this for Crucible before this team was announced as a rework, just because Gambit is pretty much the best member on the Unlimited X-Men, even better than Rogue, in my opinion, other than a little bit of kit-based. Um, but as you can see, Cyclops is level 85, gear 15. Um, he's probably going to stay there until this raid comes out. What I want to stress to you guys is is raid teams do not need to be over invested in. I am so tired of people saying, oh, my 1.9 million invaders can sim 2.2 right now. And I'm like, good for you. I'd rather have the 35, 40 million gold that I didn't spend on invaders and use it on a team that's going to be useful in three or four game modes like Secret Defenders, who are at like 2.2 million with the full team with Noir and Cosmic Crucible now. So this is kind of a, a setup just to make sure you guys don't overinvest in this team. We've seen in the past Pegasus is doing extremely well. Great choice of words I use there, isn't it? Pegasus is doing extremely well in raids, and I have him at level 80, 85, gear 15, except for Kestrel because she has plug-and-play ability. I did the math here, and to take all of these to level 95 and not even change their gear tier would have costed me 30 million gold. So it's 30 million gold I didn't have to spend on this team, and it's gold that you're not going to have to need to spend on the X-Men team because you know they're going to do great at 800k, 900k power, and you could really focus on the linchpins of the team, which are going to be Nightcrawler and Forge because Forge is going to have that revive mechanic, kind of like how Rescue has that revive mechanic for Pegasus. So the long and short of it is for the, X, the Extreme X-Men team, don't spend your resources like crazy on this team because before their plug and play of viability is determined by a bunch of other people who build the team, there, there's really no need for it. If they are useful plug and play outside of raids, then go for it, but only build those specific tunes that are useful for that plug and play ability. I wouldn't bother going all in on them until you know for sure, so you can save those precious resources for another team that comes out, like a new arena meta team that could be soon, that comes out to replace Secret Avengers, or Secret Defenders, I'm sorry, and can replace them in Cosmic Crucible and as a prime war team. Next up, we're talking about the Hive Raid team. This team is going to be comprised of Venom, Carnage, Void Knight, Gwenom, and Red Goblin. This infographic is courtesy of Benny Westside. Shout out to Benny Westside. Please go check him out on YouTube. He makes incredibly, incredibly in-depth content when it comes to every tune that comes out or every tune that gets a rework. So you can see more about Carnage's and Venom's updated kits. You can also see a little bit about Void Knight, Red Goblin, and Gwenom. When those tunes come out, you know Benny Westside is going to be the place to go for that. But today we're going to be talking about the investment in this team. This bio raid team, as we saw from the blog that dropped a little early yesterday, looks pretty good. And honestly, with raid teams, just like I said with the Extreme X-Men, they don't need to be built very big to get through the current raids that they are used as the solution for. So I would start off extremely, extremely slow especially with the reworks on this team. I would just go really, really slow on Venom because you got to remember, we still have Super Scroll, who is the best character in the game, who could potentially replace Venom or Carnage or even one of the new characters that may be a little subpar compared to Super Scroll. As for the three or new characters, they do look like they're going to be extremely good in raids, um, which means you really won't have to build them up that much, but they are a little bit safer of an investment. But as of right now, the Carnage and Venom are the only two in the game since they got reworked, but I would not recommend building them at all until you see how well this team does and what levels they need to be. Right now, you can see my Venom is gear 14, level 75 for Dark Dimension 3, I believe. And uh, my Carnage is G15, level 80. Again, I took him to Dark Dimension 4. Venom was Dark Dimension 3. As you can see here, I'm going to put zero work into them because there is no need. We don't know anything about this team yet as far as how they perform 
in the raids. Carnage could do amazing at level 80, gear 15, and everybody who took him up to 95, gear 17, just because they wanted to be ready, are going to be wasting because they could use those resources elsewhere on better teams or better tunes that are plug and play of it, uh, have good plug and play viability. Like maybe Void Knight or maybe Gwenum. She's got a turn one stun on her special for two turns, and that's in every game mode. You never know what teams are going to be good. So when reworks are announced, you should pump the brakes, start saving some gold in case they are needed, but don't build them immediately. Work on some other teams that you need to get caught up on that are going to help you in multiple game modes or the current raid team like maybe Pegasus, you never got around to building them, or Bifrost to make sure they can get through the current raids because they're going to be used for all of Incursion 2 and most likely Incursion First Strike. So the long and short of it is stop spending gold on raid teams. Stop wasting gold on raid teams. Let content creators like myself, other content creators who try out new teams at lower, star, at lower power to see if they work, tell you that you don't need to build them. Pump the brakes and wait. You'll thank me later. Trust me. So at this point, you're probably asking yourself, why are we talking about this? You've talked about this before. Other people have talked about it. I see it in Twitch chat all the time. I see it on the YouTube comment section. So the main reason I'm talking about this is going to be, as you can see, the release notes that's going to be pulled from, I believe it's the Android store, is going to show that new Gold Rush and Training Day Challenge tiers are being updated, but also Commander Level 100. That's right. We have a new level cap incoming. And this is something that we expected for a long time. And you know Scopely just drained everybody's resources on that gold spending event for the APOC Diamonds just to do this. So... You need to make sure you have gold saved up for your prime tunes to take to level 100. I'll have a video on that coming out later this week. But you want to make sure that with level 100, you are not wasting gold on these two raid teams. Because we've never been this lucky and had two raid teams come out back to back, let alone on the same patch because this is the longer holiday patch. So this is going to be the sentiment for the whole video. Invest in your bio raid team and your new mutant raid team as little as possible to make them work so you can save 30, 40, 50, even 60 million gold to throw into tunes that need to go to level 100 to make your arena shard way easier, your cosmic crucible battles way easier, and even your alliance wars that much easier. Once again, I'm going to have a list of coming out of the tunes that I recommend taking to level 100 first and who you should prioritize, but that's going to be for another video. But until next time, this has been Duelum. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later, y'all. Mm -hmm.